Hi guys, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru. Starting a new session on current affairs. This is going to be the first part for the month of October, October 2024. The questions are very, very significant. Believe me, when you watch the entire session, you'll have the same opinion. I have selected too many questions for you. I assume that you are going to watch the session till the end. As this session will remain in English medium, if you are not comfortable with the language, you have the option of switching to the Hindi session. That is also there in the playlist. We record such sort of complete English medium sessions for our students who are in South India, for our students who are in Northeast India, like the students who are in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, those who are in Karnataka, Kerala, those who are in Assam or Manipur. So I'm actually beginning this session in English medium. Let's start from here on. As you can see that we deliver topic wise current affairs. That is why you have the topic on your screen, which is latest appointments. Let's start from here on. We are beginning with the first topic that is latest appointments. Let's start from here on the first question on your screen, which is about the president of Sri Lanka. See what exactly happened in Sri Lanka that you already know who's taking the charge of Sri Lanka right now is commendable basically because Sri Lanka is in that state right now. We are referring to we are not willing to discuss that you already know I have already talked about it. I am going to reduce my speed of speaking so that you can understand it better. New president of Sri Lanka is Anura Kumara Disanyake. Anura Kumara Disanyake. That's the name of the new president of Sri Lanka. As we all know, Japan is equally important, rather even more significant than any other country. So new prime minister who has taken the place of, you know, uh, Fumio Kishida, I should speak like that, because he was the earlier prime minister. You are not supposed to know the name of the earlier prime minister. I am saying the new Prime Minister of Japan, the name of the person, Shigeru Ishiba. Shigeru Ishiba has become the new Prime Minister of Japan. He is from Liberal Democratic Party. I know you understand that. You will believe me for sure that this question will take a place somewhere in some or the other exam for, for sure. So be observant, learn this question, whichever question I'm saying is more significant than any other. See, although I've selected all the important questions, so I believe you that you're going to learn all. But if I say something, see if a teacher in the classroom, when you were there back in school, back in your school days, teachers used to mark something as very, very important. So it is that basically. New Prime Minister of Japan, Ishiru, uh, Shigeru Ishiba, that's the name of the person. And he is from Liberal Democratic Party. I am going to repeat that. The name of the person is Shigeru Ishiba. Shigeru Ishiba. That's the name of the new Prime Minister of Japan. The new question, the next one is new Director General of that Narcotics Bureau. Yes, we are referring to that only. NCB. So new Director General of NCB, which remains in news for one or the other reason. So Director General of NCB, Anurag Garg. Name of the person is important. You know that. New Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, Atishi Marlena, that you have seen, she is from, you know, Aam Admi Party, that you have seen, uh, she is quite young, youngest, you know, Chief Minister, female Chief Minister, you have all heard that. The name is important, that is what I have taught you. Andrew Holness was on India visit. See, some of the stuff is like that, that a person who was on India visit is important. Our president was visiting Algeria, Algeria, so there is a possibility even the head of Algeria can also be there. So certain questions are of that type because these people were in news, any any part of the news when, when they were covered, the name can be there in your exam. So I'm saying Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness. President of Algeria, name of the person is Abdel Majid Taboon. Abdel Majid, Majid Taboon, that's the name of the person who is basically the president of Algeria. Now, Prime Minister of Jordan, his name is Jafar Hassan. See, it takes time to learn these many questions. I understand your perspective also. That is why I spend time in revision as well. Let's see, let's see from the start once again. Latest appointments. Prime Minister of Prime Minister of Japan. The name of the person is Shigeru Ishiba. Shigeru Ishiba, Liberal Democratic Party. His party is also significant. The name of the president of Sri Lanka, his name is Anura Kumara Disanyake, director general of NCB Anurag Garg. 
Atishi Marlena, Chief Minister of Marxist Leninist, that is why Marlena, it's not Marlena, it's Marlena only, although. But anyway, the way you wish to pronounce it, and, and she is from Mahmadmi Party and she has become the new Chief Minister of Delhi. Now, whole, whole, uh, wholeness. This fellow, uh, this fellow was on India visit, he is basically the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness. President of Algeria, Abdul Majid Taboon. Prime Minister of Jordan, Zafar, Jafar Hassan. Jafar Hassan, Prime Minister of Jordan. Now, let's move ahead. Now, important days and important dates. Let's see what is there on your screen. We'll start with the first question, which is about cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a disease. We try to, you know, uh, protect kids we try to you know understand that what cerebral palsy is you can you know read about it people are you know people try to you know spread awareness about it it is a disease during their birth or you know when they are quite young when their developing years are there kids get affected their posture gets affected so uh, people come to know about cerebral palsy at a very early age so cerebral palsy is like kids have to be you know saved from it we celebrate Cerebral Palsy Day on 6th of October. So World Cerebral Palsy 6th October and the theme is hashtag uniquely Cerebral Palsy. Cerebral Palsy is a disease basically if you know kids are growing up, if children are growing up during those, you know that particular time or before birth also there's a possibility they can remain or they can get affected so it is basically a disease that you have to understand that you know people have to be aware of it uniquely uh, cerebral palsy they are trying to say that everybody is unique and everybody have you know their unique attributes but anyway we are not getting into it it is just that you have to learn it the question is quite significant from the perspective of all exams 6th october is the date when we actually observe world cerebral palsy day let's move ahead with the next question which is international day of older persons please understand one thing the day does not seem to be that significant but it actually is and you have to believe me this question was asked many many times so there's a possibility in some or the other exam you will see this question again it is international day of older persons which is celebrated on 1st of october that means the start of the month of october the next one is world space week so from 4th to 10th of october from 4th to 10th of october 2024 world space week understand the language when i actually refer to something like world and national there is a significant difference that means it is celebrated worldwide and the lower one is celebrated only in our nation. That is what I'm trying to convey. World Space Week from 8th, from 4th to 10th of October, first thing. And, and uh, the other one is National Wildlife Week, which was celebrated from 2nd to 8th of October. That is quite important. The themes are important. So I found the themes important. If I find the theme important, then only I write it down. Otherwise, I do not intend to waste your time. When you refer to the space week, it has to have the word space. Not every time. I'm just saying that to make you learn this. Space and climate change. Easy. Hashtag uniquely cerebral palsy. Hashtag uniquely CP. Space and climate change. Space week safeguarding our natural heritage safeguarding our natural heritage and this day is particularly celebrated from 2nd to 8th of october the next one is world post day which is celebrated on 9th of october now you have to comment like you have to write down a comment and you have to tell me a question which i'm asking you right now do we have something here in our country which is celebrated on 10th of October? You can comment, you can actually write down in the comment section, tell me that when we refer to World Post Day, it is observed on 9th of October. I am referring to this particular day in terms of world. Here I am asking you on 10th, something related with post, postal, is it celebrated here in India as well? 
is there some kind of day which is celebrated on 10th of october as well you have to tell me what do we celebrate on 10th of october which is quite related to this day only 9th 10th 9th 10th is is that you know uh, the, is that the question that i'm asking yes i am asking you the same question so you have to go you have to google it and you have to tell me the answer there in the comment section let's see how much you know now world teachers day it is not our teachers day which is on 5th of september please don't get into any any fight with me i'm telling you up front it is world teachers day world world so from the perspective of world which is celebrated on 5th of october see the date is the same that is how you can learn it easily isn't it dr sarvapalli radha krishna in 5th september our teachers day now we are talking about world teachers day which is celebrated from the perspective of the world 5th of october is the date the next question is world habitat day even this question is asked many many times and when you actually refer to any exam you will see this question some or the other exam you will surely be you know looking at such a question you'll you'll be you know getting such a question habitat earth is our habitat where we stay where we live so world habitat day it is observed on listen to it carefully it is observed on first monday of october it is celebrated on 1st october of monday which fell on 7th october this year that is why 7th october was the date when we celebrated world habitat day is that let's revise all that cerebral palsy is a condition like with the brain kids have that so i'm saying world cerebral palsy day 6th of october hashtag uniquely cp older persons day internationally 1st of october 4th to 10th of october space week national wildlife week 2nd to 8th of october space and climate change was the theme for the upper one and the lower one had the theme safeguarding our natural heritage natural heritage that means we are referring to wildlife only natural heritage that's how you can relate post day 9th october 5th october teachers day and then the last one was 7th october this year it fell on 7th october which was world habitat day so i hope you have understood what i have you know taught you till now there's one more thing that you need to understand i am not going to waste your time at all i can only ask you know for a few you know likes and a comments and you can subscribe to our channel if you have not see if you understand everything what i'm teaching you if you find the language all right that is all right you can press the like button please do that that is going to motivate me a lot and subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now please press the bell icon alongside that is how you'll receive notifications of all the exam relevant videos now there's a possibility whichever subject that you are actually going through you are studying at some other other institute we do not have any problem with that i'm just saying because there are kids who take help from multiple you know places we don't mind that but there's a possibility that some of the questions that you are not able to answer some of the doubts that you have like in the questions like maths like reasoning like gs you have doubts like ample number of doubts so you can write down in the comment section i'll try to get the answers you know for those questions which are difficult i'll try my level best to help you but do put up questions that is how you learn more if you ask doubts that is how you grow that is how your preparation becomes sound so i expect you know at least a comment you know from your side on the questions i've asked probably or maybe whichever subject which is troubling you a lot and you have a question on that particular subject you can ask us anything so write down in the comment section ask us your doubts we'll clarify it within a day or two anyway let's move on to the next section which is government of india see i've just changed it a little so there were kids who were asking for ma'am you know teach us the government schemes and also i've added a few government schemes which i found important so i'm starting with mission mausam yes that is the government scheme basically so mission mausam see mausam is weather if you know it mission is weather so when you refer to such a thing mission uh, mausam we are uh, going to uh, we are going to actually provide help at the time of disasters you understand when floods do take place when earthquakes you know when quakes are there when uh, uh, floods are there people require help right so for for that government is allocating 2000 crores for this particular mission where they you know people will be benefited by all this but the name of the 
मिशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज ऑल्सो अ गवर्नमेंट स्कीम सो यूनियन कैबिनेट अप्रूव्ड मिशन मौसम वट दे लास्ट क्यू इन द एग्जाम वट इज द बजट वट इज द आउट ले हाउ मच मनी द गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू स्पेंड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर मिशन विच इज मिशन मौसम टू थाउजेंड क्रोड्स द नेक्स्ट वन देर ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज पी एम ई ड्राइव रिमेन अटेंटिव थ्रू आउट इफ यू मिस अ क्वेश्चन there will be some trouble and i'm telling you up front because if you miss this today questions are many i have brought you know a lot many questions today so it is going to you know take you some time to you know you know learn all that i understand that but i'm saying just stay put you cannot miss a single question please don't do that otherwise your marks will get affected e drive is government promoting something electric sort of yes they are doing we all know that now what is it I'll ask you a question when I wrap this up. I'm saying Union Cabinet approved a scheme which is PM E Drive. Again, a scheme PM E Drive on which they'll be spending ten thousand nine hundred crore rupees, right? Now they can ask you the budget or the outlay for it. What's the name of the scheme? PM E Drive. It has replaced the scheme called Fame. Fame. See, I've taught you Fame in the past videos. it has replaced fame this fame does it have anything to do with um electric vehicles only does it have something to do with that so you have to search it you have to google it and you have to write it down you have to tell me that you know about this now it is an important thing first you understand this has some full form right some expanded form is there you need to learn that as well this is this has got replaced and now they have come up with pm e drive scheme now 10900 crores allocation on such a thing you have to understand this has to be something significant so from the perspective of the exam pm e drive outlay expenditure 10900 crore rupees when we move ahead fiscal deficit see in hindi we call it rajkoshiya ghata now deficit you have to understand some kind of deficit is there when your income is less and you're keep on spending money like anything your income what you're earning is less and what you're spending is way more that means it is deficit you are in some or the other kind of loss it is fiscal deficit so what you are earning is less what you are spending is more nowadays it is the case with everybody i know that fiscal deficit the projection by the government as per the budget fiscal deficit is going to be 4.9% of our gross domestic product of our gdp they may ask you such a question so for 2024 25 this is the financial year that we are referring to their projection is government's projection is that fiscal deficit will remain around 4.9% that is what they are projecting and it is written in the government database now the next question is navratnas there are mini ratnas there are maharatnas and there are navratnas i am going to wrap this question up and will ask you a question once again how attentive you are i'll come to know about it after this if you watch it does not matter if you don't answer then please don't watch it is not required please if you mind it do that because if you are not writing down something if you are not preparing notes then what's the point what's the use write down what i speak because even if some extra information is there it is for you only you have to know i'll ask you a question in the end so you are supposed to answer navratna stat is given to some public sector enterprises let's name them s j v n first solar energy corporation second n h p c third railtel corporation fourth i'll repeat sjvn solar energy corporation nhpc railtel corporation these are the public sector enterprises and they have got the status of navratna by the government now what's the question here be aware be attentive answer it for sure to be navratna to get the to obtain that navratna status when you obtain such a status when you get it now the question is do you require to produce some kind of result as in uh, do are you expected to have 
the organization from the perspective of an organization are you expected to have some kind of revenue generation are you expected to have that revenue is there some limit after which the government calls you navratna now you have to answer this question that when do public sector enterprises are when do public sector enterprises get the status of navratna why do they get it is there some criteria that they are expected to meet yes that's how you put in efforts and you will gain more information navratna is a vn solar energy corporation nhpc railtel corporation let's move ahead this is pm annadata i sarakshan abhiyan understand something annadata we are referring to it's not pm our annadata pm is not our annadata i'm saying here they are referring to farmers peasants basically so they are saying prime minister annadata i that means farmers income they are referring to so they are actually uh, in some running some drive mode in the exam they will ask you what is the full form of aastha here is your answer prime minister annadata i sarakshan abhiyan that is what the full form is it is pm aastha you have to learn the full form for sure here they are talking about fair price for farmers that is how they have planned now so i'm saying fair prices for farmers that is what they think that they'll be able to do it anyway this scheme such a scheme this scheme such a scheme got the extension till 25 26 that is what i've mentioned here either they'll ask you the full form of aastha or what is aastha there's a possibility they can ask you the time also like for how long has the government extended it so that is also a question to be you know thought of now the next one is ministry of ports shipping and waterways appointed manu bhakar as its ambassador brand ambassador so manu bhakar that same girl star shooter now because in olympics for the very first time a a lady like an athlete a woman could actually get two medals in the same tournament so it is you understand that it is exemplary it is the best commendable so that manu bhakar has become basically the brand ambassador for ministry of ports shipping and waterways now so she is spreading aware, awareness about them about what they do and all that so that is what manu bhakar is doing these days anyway and as forex reserves has touched dollar 700 billion it is more that i know so from that perspective number one is china india has ob- obtained the fourth position for its reserves please understand that uh, many possibilities are there through which you can actually get forex foreign currency foreign exchange see what i'm saying is if you live outside if you live abroad if you live outside you send money back to your country forex reserve increases how because you are actually sending that money to your family forex reserve is increasing it is adding up so dollar 700 billion the mark has crossed india is on the fourth place the f- first place is of china you have to learn all that because the question is the last one but it does not make it less significant at all it is very very important even if it is the last one you understand that but the number is something that you will be able to keep in your brains i know that let's revise all you know all this union cabinet approved mission mausam outlay expenditure 2000 crores 10900 crores for pme drive it is basically the union cabinet has approved the scheme it is about e vehicles only fiscal deficit projected to be 49 4.9% 4.9% as per the budget they are stating it in the budget of the gdp 24 25 navratna status given to sjvn solar energy corporation nhpc railtel corporation pm annadata i sarakshan abhiyan pm annadata i sarakshan abhiyan which is pm aastha it is basically it has got the extension like from 25 26 like 25 26 till then it will remain in you know uh in movement like it will be you know on till then 
fair prices that's the commitment of this scheme that is what they are saying ministry of ports and shipping waterways see i'll tell you they'll give you the name of manu bhakar they'll ask you several questions about her like what did she win what category in which she you know won what olympics are we referring to where did you know these olympics take place hell lot of questions now this question is different they are going to ask you this question brand ambassador manu bhakar recently became the brand ambassador of some ministry name that ministry so it is shipping port shipping and waterways learn that 700 billion dollars mark india has crossed that it is our forex forex reserve now india is on the fourth rank number is also significant such a minute detail is important first is china let's go ahead so defense updates now let's look at the first question what is there in defense updates now india second nuclear powered ballistic submarine for navy which is ins ari ghat first keep you know one thing in mind the first one it is the second one right it is the second one that you have seen ballistic powered ballistic submarine submarines are undersea vehicles in hindi we call them pandubi and sea vehicles they are powered ballistic submarines ins arighat second is arighat first one was arihant understand one thing when i say it is arihant class i replace the entire thing by calling it arihant class arihant class ballistic submarine then also it means the same why i am calling it arihant class submarine the reason is the first one of the type of the entire vessel family or of the entire submarine family or of the missile family the first one can be named you know can actually be called or you can keep the name of the first one as the name of the entire class so by calling it second nuclear powered ballistic submarine you can call it arihant class submarine also because the first one is quite significant because the name of the entire class can depend on that first first submarine also which was arihant now second one is arighat arighat is quite you can say advanced we should speak like that because when you refer to arihant arihant was all right we agree with that but arighat is even better so there are multiple which will be actually handed over to navy in future but we are saying till now we have handed over two to the navy the second one which got handed over to navy the second one is ins arighat what is arighat they can ask you the question straight away it is nuclear powered ballistic submarine what are submarines they are undersea vehicles the next one is i told you that this sort of micro detail is significant fifth numbers india oman joint military exercise india and oman joint military exercise the name of that exercise it is al najah and it took place it was actually performed at salala oman salala oman that's the place either they'll ask you the number of the exercise fifth they'll ask you uh, probably the name of the exercise al najah they may ask you the venue of the exercise which is salala oman what kind of exercise military exercise right the next question eighth edition of military exercise kazind this is the easiest one why kazakhstan and india that's how you can learn the names of the nations quickly kazakhstan and india eighth numbers exercise again the military exercise took place in oli uttarakhand eighth oli uttarakhand venue military exercise between kazakhstan and india which is kazind it was taking place the eighth time first of all understand something when we refer to our defense system multiple exercises are performed and they are there in your exams they are they take place often here we try to fight our enemies they learn their defense mechanism how their military reacts you know under such circumstances so such things are basically exchanged you know while you know when when you are there in such exercises when you refer to this one can you see that this took place the 20th time the 20th time can you understand that 20th time so yuddha abhyas is quite old india and us yuddha abhyas is quite old 
it was actually performed at Rajasthan, 20th numbers, Yudha Bhyas, that is the name of the exercise, number is 20th and I am saying the venue is Rajasthan, some airfield like some places there, you need not learn the name of the exact venue, Rajasthan is quite alright, they will ask you only this much, do not waste your time in that, between India and US that is the fourth thing you have to learn, 20th numbers, Yudha Bhyas, Rajasthan is the venue and it is basically between India and US, when you move ahead with the Indian Navy received its large survey vessel, large survey vessel, again the same thing is act happening, listen to it carefully, when I say Sandhayak uh, class, so I am referring to the first one, Indian Navy received its large survey vessel, it is the second numbers vessel, it is the second numbers vessel that you know the Navy received, there has to be some first one also, the first one is Sandhayak, here we are talking about Nirdeshak, that is the name of second vessel, if I give you some extra information try to write it down, because just by looking at the page you will not be able to obtain what I am trying to tell you is Sandhayak is the first one, Nirdeshak is the second one, I am saying it was made by GRSC, what is GRSC, it is Garden Reach Shipbuilders Engineers, Garden Reach Shipbuilders. So, Garden Reach shipbuilders, they are quite famous and engineers, you have to learn their names carefully. World's largest naval defense exhibition, exhibition is there, world's largest because n number of nations you know will participate, India is actually going to watch the show, it was invited, uh, India was invited you know to do such a thing, Euro Naval is the name and Paris France is doing such a thing, is arranging or is organizing such a thing. Let's start from this, you know, scratch, like from the very start of it, India's second nuclear powered ballistic submarine, INS Sarighat, from Arihant class. That's how you learn the name of the first one, Arihant. Fifth, Indian, India Oman excise, military excise, Al Naja performed at Salala Oman. Eighth edition of military excise, cousin Oli Uttarakhand. World's largest naval exercise, Euro Naval 24, Paris, like France, I am referring to France. Indian Navy received its large survey vessel, uh, large survey vessel is Nirdeshak, here it is Nirdeshak, that means somebody is going to give us Nirdesh, like the directions, Yard 3026 number, second number is Nirdeshak, first one was Sandhayak, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, is is the one who is making you know these survey vessels, 20th Yudha Bias between India and US performed at Rajasthan. So I know you have learned something, if you wish to buy the course from us, you can do that, the numbers are given below, online.vidyaguru.in is the website, if you are not willing to speak with anybody, you can directly go to that website and join us, we provide complete English medium coaching as well. We provide Hindi medium or bilingual sort of coaching as well, so you can join, you can choose the medium at the time of admission carefully. The next one, the next one is state news, let us see what is happening in states, we are talking about Nasik. Nasik, in Nasik you will see a tribal university getting opened soon, so Maharashtra to build a tribal university in Nasik, next one, Fort Blair, the name of Port Blair, the capital of Andaman and Nicobar like the Andamans, has you know the name got changed, so I was shocked basically, Port Blair, the name is you know so so stylish, it got changed to Sri Vijayapuram, so Port Blair has become Sri Vijayapuram, do you understand the significance of this question, if you do not you will not be able to write the exam, try to write it down, try to revise it 10 times. Port Blair has become Sri Vijayapuram, Port Blair, Port Blair the capital of Andamans, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, so Sri Vijayapuram, anyway, Oxygen Bird Park which is also Amrit Mahotsav Park, contribution of the cabinet is also there, although it is getting opened in a, in a state that is why I have written that like it is Nagpur the place where it is opening, is it some highway? you have to write it down in the comment section, google it, go check it, is there some highway, why road transport and highway ministry is there, so cabinet 
is there. We all know that. I've given you one clue. I'm asking you the question once again. I'll repeat that question. Listen to it carefully. Oxygen Bird Park, which is also Amrit Mahotsav Park. They can ask you the question out of these two. What is it called? Amrit Mahotsav Park. It is also called Oxygen Bird Park. They are saying they have planted such trees where oxygen, they'll be releasing more oxygen. That is what their assumption is. Nagpur is the place where they are doing it. Is it on the highway? Is this park on the highway? Some highway? The number of the highway is mandatory. Just write it down in the comment section. Go and Google it. That's how your information, your knowledge will increase. So I'm assigning you some tasks. Try to do it. Try to do at least one. Nagpur is the place where it is coming up. They are making it. They are building it. By Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. That is what they are suggesting. Mukhya Mantri Baal Ashrivad Yojana. See, Balashivad Yojana, is, it is not about nutrition, they are paying them actually. The, the, if some orphans are there, some kids are there, they do not have their parents, so there can be many reasons through which you can help you know, poor kids. So poor kids are being helped, money is being paid to them. It is MPA scheme, Yojana scheme, Madhya Pradesh. So Madhya Pradesh, Mukhya Mandri, Balashivad Yojana. India's first super capacitor manufacturing facility. India's first. Super, capa super capacitor manufacturing facility. Now, what is it? Uh, super capacitor or hyper capacitor or high capacitor, whatever you understand. Electric vehicles and India is like, you know, promoting it like anything. So, electric vehicles and all that. Now, what is important out here? If you have a, an electric vehicle, the battery gets discharged and you do not have anything or anywhere to go. If some other option is there, some other alternative is there, some other battery is there or some, something extra powered battery is there. So such sort of capacitors they are talking about, automobiles and all. India's first supercapacitor manufacturing. First is important. First is important. Kanur Kerala. Kerala is the, you know, one. We can expect something advanced to, you know, take place there only. So developed with ISRO's collaboration. So they took the help from ISRO. Kanur is the place where it is coming up. Now I'm saying India's first supercapacitor manufacturing facility. This is Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2024. Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2024. Vayu is air. So are we referring to clean air city? Yes. So Indian national or Indian clean air city is Surat. Learn that carefully. You know such questions are asked. Maharashtra to build tribal university in Nasik. Port Blair has got a new name, Sri Vijayapuram, Oxygen Bird Park, Amrit Mahotsav Park, Nagpur, Ministry is also important, Road, Transport and Highways Ministry, Madhya Pradesh, which is Mukhya Mantri Bal Ashirwad Scheme, India's first supercapacitor manufacturing facility at Kannur, Kerala, with the help of ISRO. They can ask you who helped them with whose collaboration it happened. So such a question can also be there. Surat is, is basically national clean air city, which is Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan. Now the next topic is India in focus. Let's start with this particular topic. The first question on your screen. See if some country is in some kind of trouble. India is supposed to help. That is what we did. So humanitarian help, humanitarian aid, They'll ask you a question. Recently, India provided aid to what countries and what were they suffered from? How were they affected? Like by what they were affected? So there can be multiple ways they can ask you a question. Let me repeat. I'm saying Typhoon Yagi. The name of the typhoon is important. They can even frame a different question out of all this. The Typhoon Yagi affected what all countries? Name those countries which were affected by Typhoon Yagi. So Myanmar, Laos and the third one is Vietnam. Myanmar, Laos and Vietnam. Typhoon Yagi affected them. India provided humanitarian aid to them by Operation Sadbhav. Sadbhav. In the examination, straight away, you will get a question of, you will get a question about Operation Sadbhav. What is it? It is to provide humanitarian help. It is to provide humanitarian help to Laos, Myanmar and Vietnam. I hope you've got the question now. So humanitarian aid by India to Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam. 
you see typhoon yagi is also significant try to learn that as well first international solar festival held in new delhi see india is promoting solar 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 energy like anything if you don't believe me look at this question here look at this question here it is basically international solar alliance i'll try to relate them international solar alliance although it is international france came after like us we took the initiative gurgaon is the place if you can recall gurugram which is called gurugram now i'm saying it is the place international solar alliance we were hell bent on you know starting such a thing that such an alliance should come into being where a lot many countries you know joined us after that because they felt that this is such a such a such an initiative which should be promoted that is how you can see that 101 members so 101st is nepal now that is how the the efforts of our country you know came into being when you move on to the next question it is first international solar festival india is doing it again new delhi international festival which festival international solar festival took place for the first time and it it was actually celebrated in new delhi the next one is seventh global aerospace summit took place in abu dhabi seventh that micro detail is important you know that now seven numbers global aerospace aerospace summit 24 took place in abu dhabi semicon india 24 conducted at greater noida uttar pradesh second asia pacific ministerial conference on civil aviation took place at bharat mandapam new delhi i'll repeat second numbers asia pacific ministerial conference on civil aviation took place at bharat mandapam new delhi brics brazil russia india china south africa brazil russia india china south africa that is what brics mean now i'm saying brics new development bank so brics has a bank new development bank now new development bank has got 10th member which is algeria which is algeria i have taught you one question about algeria today when i started the class when i started the video what was that don't check it now don't check it now it is not required i have taught you something and you have to write it down you have to tell me what did i tell you in this video in this same video i talked about algeria earlier as well what was that what question was that just write it down in the comment section i will wait 101st member brics new development bank 10th member new member algeria has become that 101st member international solar alliance nepal the next question was quad summit when somebody says double when somebody says triple do you know what after that quadruple quadrilateral quad means four twice thrice and so on that is how people speak double triple and so on that is how people speak but you know now double triple and quadruple quadruple 4 2 3 4 double triple quadruple quad means 4 see by that logic they have four countries here australia japan india and us india japan us and australia so these are the four countries I hope you know that uh, China is trying to capture a lot many things, sea and all. So they they wish to you know uh, hold it. They wish to put a hold to it. Now they wish to you know keep a check on that particular thing. They have formed Quad for that reason, for the growing influence of China. They wish to probably hold it. You know, Quad 2024. US is the place. where this summit is like taking place quad 2025 the next year will take place in india that is how i made you learn all that india in focus humanitarian aid to myanmar laos and vietnam through operation sadbhav they got affected by typhoon yagi first solar festival international solar festival happened in held in new delhi seventh global aerospace summit in abu dhabi Greater Noida, Uttar Pradesh, semicon, semiconductor. 
can you recall semiconductor india is promoting you know a lot a lot of it try to read about it semiconductor india 24 conducted at greater noida up second asia pacific ministerial conference on civil aviation held at bharat mandapam new delhi brics new development bank has got a new member the 10th member is algeria 101st member of international solar alliance important question 101st member nepal called summit this year 24 usa next year 25 india is going to host quad summit quadruple quad summit so with that we have come to an end of the session if you want pdf as you generally write i can give you the questions either you can actually purchase at a very nominal cost from our website or you can follow me on insta i'll actually be sharing questions over there if i have you know uh, a lot many followers like for a few of you know you i'll not be able to do if if you know more number of followers are there i'll try to you know give you questions there thank you so much for watching take care